Hey everyone and welcome to Daily Scuba News. Today's episode is sponsored by Dive Master Insurance, but more about them later. So scientists from Exeter and Bristol University have teamed up with James Cook University, not the not James Cook himself. <laughs> so they don't exist, do they? Yeah, no. Uh, Tom, no, that's Thomas Cook. Oh, Thomas Cook, sorry, yeah, James Tom, Cook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. James Cook, the University and the Australian Institute of Marine Scientists to test out whether acoustic enrichment enrichment could improve uh, uh, or could prove, sorry, to be a valuable tool in helping restore damaged coral reefs. Yeah, so in a six-week field experiment, the team basically played audio recordings made on healthy reefs on underwater speakers, uh, which were set in patches of dead coral on the Great Barrier Reef. So they basically wanted to see if doing this lured back fish that are needed to uh, sort of counteract reef degradation. Um, and they reported that twice as many were actually at attracted and remained in this healthy sounding um, dead coral reef area. So, so there's two fish. Yeah. <laughs> but basically, yeah, so it's a matter of, because I was listening to this story the other day, <laughs> and... Um, what did it sound like? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> No, so basically, yeah, as the coral sort of dies and then the fish just kind of leave because there's nothing interesting there, then the algae takes over. And because there's no, like, sound, the the fish kind of go, oh, that doesn't sound like a healthy reef. I'm not going to go back there. But when there is the sound, they go, oh, that must be popular. They go back, they eat the coral, and then, no, sorry, they eat the eat algae, the and then the coral can come back. So it's working. Thanks for watching, guys, and safe diving. <laughs> Anyway, the number of species attracted also increased by 50%, which is pretty cool. Nice work. Uh, they believe that reintroducing fish into dead coral areas will kickstart the na natural recovery to the reef system. Healthy reef systems are, you know, very noisy places, and juvenile fish actually tend to aim for these noises to find a new home. So using artificial sounds could actually bring fish back to a dead area and spark life back into a reef, maybe. Anyway, before we continue with this story, Let's hear about today's sponsor. So Dive Master Insurance is your one-stop shop when it comes to scuba diving insurance. They provide a fast and easy way to book all of your travel insurance requirements online. No matter whether you're going on a single trip, extended stay, or are planning a annual multi-trip, Dive Master Insurance has got you covered. You can even insure your dive equipment through them as well. So, you know, to read more T's and C's and to find out the best policy for you, uh, for your driving, bleh, for your, well, I was gonna say driving, for your diving trip, I uh, hope the guys didn't watch this episode because I mentioned <coughs> that, we're just gonna carry on though. Uh, you know, and to obviously to get your simply no obligation quote, just click in the link pinned in the comments. Dive Master Insurance, the diving insurance specialist. Yes. Do you know why I messed that up? It's because I've never said that paragraph. No, we, it's, it's normally the Way around. Yeah, I flipped it around. Uh, messed me up, man. Anyway. Uh, okay, so now attracting younger fish won't bring it back to life straight away. It's not going to be an instantaneous thing, but the mm -hmm. young fish would clean the reef, eat that sort of algae, and sort of make way for new coral to grow. So at some point, the coral will breathe again, um, as long as the fish and other marine life kind of stay in the area, bring all the nutrients and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this could be the right move for the Great Barrier Reef. Along with all the 3,000 other tests that seem to be going on that poor little reef. Something's got to work. Um, anyway, yeah, just kind of play the sound of a healthy reef in a dead part and it just kind of catfishes the fish just to... Mm. I reckon it's ACDC they play. No, sharks like ACDC. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah, they like heavy metal. Sweet. Because of the night... Like, <laughs> Sweet. Um, anyway, yeah, we just kind of have to make sure that we don't interfere with the process and, uh, and nature, you know, might take it back. And dig you back. And if it doesn't, well then to be honest with you, there's nothing actually to lose. The coral's already dead, it, you know, so at least researchers can say that they tried mixing man-made the process to kickstart a natural process. And if it works, fantastic. And if it doesn't, to be fair, no harm done really, let's be honest. The Except the other reefs where the fish would normally have gone to. Shut up. <laughs> no. Anyway, what do you think <clears throat> about this story? You need to bite on your lip. Um, will it work? Will the young fish just, you know, swim away when the speakers are turned off or they run out of juice? Or they they play a, a track that they don't like, like Enya or something? <laughs> I don't know. Let's have a chat about it in the comments. It's gonna work. Uh, yeah, it it's, it's work. already showing to work. It's just long term, yeah. will it make a difference? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. And as always, stay classy, scuba divers. Money, mm. of course, it's always about money. So um, short fin makos are very valuable in terms of meat, 
fins, yay, um, and sport, um, hence why they've been overfished to the point where they're actually dying quicker than they can breed, so th yeah. there's only one possible outcome. Yeah. 